me get down. Get down. Come. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get down. Oh. She likes going on tables right now. Amy, I love you. Okay, guys. So today I want to make a video about um, preparing for an eventual lockdown and this is not a joke video so yeah it's serious. So I think you all know uh, what this is about so I don't have to name it because if I name this this video would get instantly demonetized. So yeah um, I want to get prepared stock up my gear and also I want to get some food. So I've written down a list what I need. So today I decided that I want to do a prepping buy for my house, get all of the supplies that I need for the next two months or three months. Okay, so I have to buy this stuff anyway and why not do it now before the panic spreads. So uh, what I'm talking about is really this infection which I can't name and it's actually pretty close to Austria now, so they have locked down a couple of small towns in Italy, which is just a few hundred kilometers away in this direction. And I'm not scared or super concerned, but I just want to get prepared for the situation. So if this spreads, and we all know that it's highly infectious, then I want I don't want to leave the house anymore so I just want to have everything at home which I need you know all of the food and the hygiene supplies and also other stuff like I have to stock up on dog food and such and food for us medication you know right now I'm in the process of recharging all of my batteries I know that this has nothing to do with a blackout or something but I just want to get prepared and also what I want to do is I want to uh, take a look through the house and see you know what I have to repair or what has to be repaired in the next few weeks So I want to get all of the supplies so that in case of a lockdown I do not have to leave the house anymore and Yeah um, Before we go out and get all of the stuff. I first want to show you what I have already So yeah, I have to get a few of my masks here, which I already bought Okay. okay, this is the stuff that I got so far. Um, I got this a couple of years ago. This is something I probably won't need, so you won't need a gas filter really. So I just put these away because they are really an overkill. CVRN is not something that I would need right now. Okay, and then I have uh, gas masks, which I think are an overkill, really. But, which is awesome, is that you can get a particle filter for gas masks. So these are great, and I also have the spare one. It's a P3 filter. So if the situation should get bad in Austria, I'm going to use these. Because they are really 100% sealing off the face and yeah it's also protecting your eyes which is great but these ones i don't want to use right now because right now in austria the situation is safe okay but i have these just for an emergency okay uh, then i have a few of these masks which are awesome they are a little bit better than the normal hygiene masks that you can buy because they seal off a little bit better my problem, however, is that my face is too small, even for the smaller size here. So if I put this on, I still have a little bit of gap underneath my chin here. And this is why I can't use these, but my spouse can use these, which is awesome. And also other family members might need them. So what I have for my personal protection is this here. And this is a particle filter and a gas mask in one. But it's only a half mask, so it seals off 100% and yeah, it's the smaller size which I got, S, and it's by 3M. And I've got a whole lot of these particle filters, which you can 
remove like this okay so no I already ordered a couple of those no Amy no no sorry sure you're super okay so these fit me well and they are really good for protection and if it's getting serious I'm going to wear goggles I think I'm fine with protective gear but I definitely need disinfectants and also rubber gloves and food. I need a lot of food, especially for the dog as well. So yeah, let's go into the basement and check out what I have for food. Amy, what are you doing? Hmm? Okay, now I'm in my basement. This is my tool shop and actually uh, the half mask was something that I always have in here. Here I have more P3 filters and even gas filters and a couple of latex gloves. So yeah, even if I don't go out anymore, I would still have a little bit of means of protection, but I still want to get more. So yeah, now let's check out, oh yeah. Okay, so here I have a couple of boxes full with my alcohol stoves, which I sell on my website. So uh, most of my stuff is at my warehouse, but some of the some of the goods that I sell I still have in my basement. So with all of these alcohol stoves, I can supply the entire neighborhood in my in my small town here. So I'm glad that I have these at home just in case that the electricity goes out and I can't cook anymore. But I don't think that this will happen, but it's still good to have all of this stuff in my basement. And yeah, I have my survival gear here, everything you need, my bug out roll from canadianpreparedness.com. And now most importantly, I want to show you the food that I have. So uh, it's not a lot. So I have a couple of, uh, you know, vinegar oil bottles and I have some pickles quite a lot actually so I'm not that bad of a prepper okay <laughs> um, this is salt the entire box is salt so I have enough of salt I have a little bit of rice here but I definitely want to stock up on rice and this is a box full with honey and then I have other supplies like candles and other stuff that you need for making pickles and so on uh, this is sugar actually so I have enough of sugar I don't need that I just want to stock up on rice and a couple of other things that I don't have anymore. And here I have, which is important, a box full with bulbs, you know. I always make sure that I have enough so that I can repair the lamps if necessary. And yeah, that's it really for food. So I'm not the biggest prepper, I'm a survivalist, but also, you know, I have a little bit at least, so yeah. I think I'm pretty good, but I'm going to stock up today. And as I said before, I'm out of toilet paper, so I have to get that. And I have to get other stuff like, um, yeah, things for the dishwasher and other stuff, you know, that you just need on a daily basis. How do you like the prepping day, Amy? Huh? <laughs> you. Good girl. Yeah, for Amy, I have just a little bit of dog food anymore, so... I have to get new dog food. No, no, no. All right guys, so now it's time to go shopping and Amy, I cannot take to all of the shops so she will have to stay home for an hour. So first I'm gonna go to one shop where I know that I can get really cheap toilet paper. Okay, Amy, I have to go now. Okay guys, I'm on my way to the first shop and yeah, yesterday we had a really bad storm, which I wanted to tell you about. It was really bad, like it was so bad. Uh, all of my furniture from the garden was thrown away meters and meters. And I almost lost the window of my greenhouse. So I want to show you a little bit of footage of yesterday night because it was really crazy, okay? Check it out. We are in my garden and this is what the wind did, so um, 
the couch was here and the wind moved it to this place uh, that has never happened before okay and this is where the table is now chairs over there over there glass wow so we have this crazy storm right now so let's go and check out the greenhouse window is missing okay I have put in back the window this one is still here okay so I have this rucksack here and I just used it to put some weight on the window so that it doesn't fly out anymore oh gosh okay so that was a storm yesterday and I'm really glad that my greenhouse survived and yeah unfortunately right now I don't have any crops in my garden almost no crops that is because it's really early in the year so the gardening season has just started and it's too early for vegetables and that sucks because for fresh vegetables I would have to go shopping again even you know even in a lockdown situation. FFP one and two, but not three. Oh. And they are too big for me. 52 euros for this. Oh my God, that's too, too expensive. Okay, I made it. Uh, I have my car full with toilet paper. Awesome. <laughs> uh, now I want to go to a different shop, to a food store, and I want to buy some rice. And also, as you saw, the prices for disinfectant were already really high in the shop, so I hope that I can get more disinfectant uh, in this other shop. Okay. So let's go quickly and get more supplies. Good girl. All right, so now it's time to get the supplies into the shelf here. And I try to sort this first in, first out, of course. Servus! Servus, du bist ganz mauke! 
Here I have more disinfectant and chlorine. Disinfectant spray, nice. Cool. What is this? Pretty good. Nice. Okay. Tissues. Gloves. Disinfectant. Ah, finally, finally, I got a printing machine. Uh, this has nothing to do with the prepping by. Prepper spider that just did, but I need this for my tool shop. Okay, now I want to show you my pantry again. And as you can see, I have quite a little bit more now. More stuff, more toilet paper. This is what happens if you leave a small puppy alone for a second. <laughs> oh my god. Do you like lettuce? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Wow! Just found a hand sanitizer in my car. Great! Okay folks, so now I am going to the tool store. Tool shop store. And I have Amy in the trunk. So I have to get a couple of uh, screws and other stuff. Also, I want to check on the prices on the masks that I have. So, yeah. So I have a couple of repairs that I have to do in the next days. And I want to get all of the stuff now. Okay, so now I have to go to the pharmacy and get some vitamins and minerals. Yeah. Okay folks, I went to the pharmacy and I bought zinc and selenium, which is important for the immune system. And recently I have uh, done a blood work of my blood and the doctor said that I was deficient in zinc, iron, copper, selenium. So you need a lot of zinc, selenium and other trace minerals for a healthy immune system and that's what I have to take now so this is why I got uh, those expensive minerals so I spent like 160 euros and I also got gut bacteria so I'm taking the stuff now and uh, when it comes to viruses it's really important that you support the immune system and besides that I'm also taking a whole bunch of vitamin D and when I got the results of the blood test it showed that I was still very low on vitamin D so vitamin D is really important so everybody should take it here in the northern hemisphere especially in winter time okay now we are at the tool store Amy, brav. Come, come on, brav. Okay, these only have FFP2. Hmm. I'm not going to need these. Sala, come. Okay, I've just been to the tool shop, bought some screws and these things. And also I got a new first aid kit and these awesome goggles. They're not for me but for my spouse because they don't fit me with the glasses on. So yeah, pretty cool. Now let's head home again. Alright folks, 
so after the shopping spree, I've made myself a banana milkshake. Mm. It's coconut milk, by the way. And I also got this here, which is a disinfectant wipe. Awesome. I've never seen this before, actually. So it's basically tissues with disinfectant. And that's awesome because I don't always want to carry a big spray bottle with me. But this is really great because I can throw it into my backpack. And yeah, so pretty awesome stuff here. And this is what I got as well. And now I think I'm pretty good. So I spent about 120 euros on hygiene uh, goods and about 180 euros on food. I think that's not too much okay so that's probably what a normal ordinary family would spend on a weekly basis in the US or maybe in two weeks so that's just a normal buy but I focused on hygiene products toilet paper disinfectants and so on and soap as well so you need a lot of soap to clean your hands and the next thing is that I'm always touching my face so I try to not touch my face but it's so freaking hard and that's probably the most important thing right so even if you wear a mask but if you touch it and take it off and then touch your face then you have viruses on your hands so uh, you always have to make sure that you have clean hands and if this really comes to Austria, this thing, you know, that's going on, I'm prepared and I'm going to wear gloves when I go outside shopping. And I'm also not getting more hygiene masks. And I just checked the price on Amazon. And here you can see that a pack of hygiene masks with 50 pieces cost now around 100 euros. So now they are charging 2 euros. That's about $250 for one hygiene mask. And I think that's too much. So I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to support this price gouging. And my plan is that I'm going to use the mask. And then every time I come home, I will disinfect the mask with the disinfectant spray. And then when I take off the mask, I will lay it into the sunlight. Because sunlight is killing viruses. So that's my strategy. So I really think that I'm fine. And yeah I'm ready so I just wanted to make this video not to spread fear or something so I don't want to advocate anxiety or anything else I think that we Austrians are probably the most relaxed people when it comes to this uh, we always say oh nothing's going to happen you know that's our culture but I still uh, wanted to buy all of these supplies because now I feel better, I feel prepared and I don't have to worry so much anymore. So um, I can stay at home and don't risk an infection. Of course, I will have to go to the shop every now and then because I want to have uh, fresh vegetables and other stuff, which doesn't hold for a very long time. Okay, so, but even if I have to go out, I have protective gear. So I think I'm going to be okay. Okay, yeah. That's it. Um, let's check the batteries. Okay, these are full. So I'm always recharging my batteries on a monthly basis. They store better if they are charged in general. And that's what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> okay, these are charged. Yeah. So right now there's nothing else that I can say, but um, I want to recommend two more channels to you, two YouTube channels, which I think are very good when it comes to this thing that's going on, okay? The first one is Canadian Prepper and the second one is City Prepping. They have a pretty good summary of what's going on right now and I can really recommend these two channels to you. I will put the link into the description below. Actually, I have to go out again because I have to get a couple of other supplies at the hardware store because I have to repair a couple of things in the house. So I want to do that today. For example, right now I have to install a garden door which leads to my suburban garden. And I have to install this door because otherwise the dog is going to uh, dig out my plants in the raised bed 
So yeah, if you're interested in gardening, uh, I have a second channel, Gardening with Lily. You can find the link in the description below. And these are my seeds that I have, and I have more in the freezer. And yeah, I think gardening is important, and especially in times like these, when you should not go out maybe, then it's great to have your own vegetables in the garden. So right now it's not the season for it, but in three months I will be ready to harvest the first crops. So I'm really glad that I have a lot of seeds and everything ready for the new gardening season this year. Alrighty, so that's it. Uh, I really want to thank you for watching. And yeah, please give me a like, maybe share this video with your friends if you are concerned. Maybe leave me a comment and if you think that I have forgotten about something, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm always happy if I can get some advice. Maybe I have forgotten something really important, I don't know. So yeah, thank you for watching guys and stay tuned till next time.